YouTube, it's your boy Fishing King Hook City TV, riding with my main princess. And the guess what? It's about to go down. Guys, we are late. So Tarrant Regional Water District decided that they were gonna stock trout, which they do every winter um, in the Trinity River today. Now, I was supposed to be there at eight o'clock because the stocking is supposed to happen between eight and 11 o'clock. I'm supposed to be there. I wanted to get the stocking. I wanted to see the fish go in the water. I wanted to catch all that for y'all, be a great YouTube creator, all that, right? But we all woke up late, management, is late for work so me having the freed up schedule decided hey i gotta get my baby to my father-in-law's house so we're trying to get fish and cammy to where she's my got nana's to your nana's house and papa's house too so not in papa's house and then i get to head on over to the trinity river where we're going to try to catch a trout because i have never in my life caught a trout now they're supposed to be Woo. They're supposed to be uh, stocking rainbow Watch trout. Out. Yes, baby. I want to catch clay cooks too. Okay, well, listen. When I come back home this evening, we'll cook them and you can help me. Yes! All right, well, y'all heard it, man. We're going to try. Well, that means I got to catch something because I have never caught a trout. Um, what I did last night is I went to Academy, bought some inline spinners and some little stuff. Got some great information um, when I posted about it on Facebook last night. So we're gonna try our hand at it. I call myself Fishing Ken, not Crappy Ken, so now I gotta live up to it. We're gonna get Cammy dropped off, and then we're gonna see if we can get us something to eat, baby. Let's go. successfully made it to the Trinity River and this is exactly what it looks like from what I understand nobody has uh, seen the stocking guys yet so I'm not late thank God for that not late starting to see people along the banks everybody social distancing which is good I got a whole bunch of junk don't know what's gonna work but I got a whole bunch of junk though like I said I went on the academy room from down there didn't get a whole lot because they didn't have a whole lot. What I do have are a few of these rooster tails. Um, tried to pick something that would be a little more shiny. Tungsten weights, crappie fish. Then I bought this little cheap little little deal. It was like $7. Size zero, 16th ounce, deep runner spinners, which I don't need them to go too deep. So I guess I'll just watch the way I retrieve these back but we're pretty much going to be trying to use this stuff um, I also have uh, a few different color rooster tails like I said not sure what they want but I'm sure at some point I can use these somewhere so it's always good to have those in your tackle box didn't have those little uh, trout baits but we do have the power bait crappie nibbles I got them in chartreuse and white so We'll be covering the hookup with those. I've heard that that actually works really well when you cover the hookup with power bait. Um, from what I understand, it's what those fish are pretty much used to eating anyway. Whole kernel corn, things of that nature. So, One thing for sure, guys, we're out here. Uh, it's actually kind of nice out here to be the middle of Fort Worth. It's a little, it's a little dirty. It's a little dirty. But we're going to see if we can catch us a trout today. Uh -huh. Fish have not been stocked yet, so that's what we're waiting on. As soon as that happens, party's on as far as I know. The waiting game begins. One hour later. Here we are. It's right at 11 o'clock. We've been sitting here for a few hours now, waiting for these guys to show up. And they made it. So what they're gonna do, guys, is connect this here. And that's gonna run all the way down to the water. It'll come out at that pipe where that guy is sitting down. All 
All right, y'all, so I'm out here messing up. Number one, I don't have what I need, being that I crappie fish. Looked at some stuff real quick on the internet, got the wrong stuff. It's all good, though. Just lost the fish, and of course, I did it off camera. I think I know what I need to do to get another bite. Let's see what happens, man. Take it. Take from my thumb back. Yeah. Cut the rest of it off. Cut okay. the front part off. And fish with that. Okay. Now you. Uh oh, there he is. You just held it. Oh! Uh, <laughs> I noticed I was messing a lot of them just letting it sit there. Mm hmm. So mm hmm. I thought it stuck good enough, but he came up shaking. Yeah, oh yeah. He's going to shake that hook if he can. He's over killing it. Oh yeah, he, they're sticking you over there, man. Come on, that's a good one too. That's a good one there. Drop shotting and holding it. Oh, they got one on. He hooked up over there now. Uh oh, there you go. Not this time, little buddy. Appreciate it, appreciate it. All right, little buddy, we appreciate you for coming out. <laughs> Welcome to the Catch Clean Cook. All right, guys, my first trout ever. They are slippery and strong. I got tea. I got some down there, don't they? Little rainbow, guys. That's my first, first trout ever, y'all. <laughs> I'm happy about it. <laughs> Quick update, y'all. We are now on the board. Thanks to this gentleman next to me. We were able to use, <laughs> we were able to use, uh, what we did is we switched over to a drop shot. A lot of people are out here fishing off the bottom. So I went with a drop shot. I used just a little weight that I used to peg with um, when we're crappie fishing. And then what is it? Do you know what this is called? All right, guys, so I got, I got help with some gulp alive fish fry, right? And it really just looks like a little worm with a, with a little tail that gives it some action. That's what we caught our first ever trout on, man. Let's see if we can get another one. We appreciate it, man. No problem. You fish out here locally? Yeah. There we go, there we go. All right, y'all, fish number two. Come on. Oh yeah, come here pretty. Hey girl. Your name is thank you number two y'all number two same bait berkeley alive he ain't gonna be alive much longer but the berkeley alive did it <laughs> <laughs> beautiful it's fish man not a clean yeah oh yeah I, I looked them up um to the vent take, this way take, take guts and then take that black line yeah, but right right up here underneath, mm -hmm. if you just slip that little spot right there, you, It'll can pull stick everything. Your, you can stick your finger right down his throat and pull the whole thing out. Nice. After you slice it. Nice. We're going to try that, man. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys, number two. All right, so these, you can keep five of them. We're going to try to hurry up since we're not keeping them in the water. That's number two. So, y'all know how it happens, man. As soon as you... Uh, as soon as you got to change a battery, you get a bite. So we're now at three, two away from my limit. Let's see what we can do, man. I'm watching. Come on. You can come to my house. Come on, come to my house. Ho! Oh, all right, my turn. <laughs> one to my right, one to the left. Yeah. Hit me, hit me. Oh, yeah. like clockwork. I called it. I called it. He just running around tagging everything he can find. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Ooh, all right, y'all. 
I'm gonna tell you what, man. It's a change of pace, y'all, but I am enjoying myself. I am enjoying myself. All right, there's another one, y'all. Little bitty rainbow trout, beautiful fish, man. Barely any scales. He does have scales, but they're really small. So a lot of people don't even try to scale them. They just gut them and frown. Mm-hmm, yep. All right, we're working in the right direction here. Everybody's still cold. Hurry up and get these babies home. Hey. What is up, guys? What is, what is it? fishing cleanly. I didn't ask you to take over my video. I asked you to be a part of my video. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm back at the house. You see it. Hoverboard Cami, a.k.a. Fishing Cami, is with me tonight. And um, we're going to clean these the trap. So let me just show y'all what we came up with. They've actually been on ice. And this is it's what? salmon. No, it's not salmon crazy. Oh. Trap. 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 Wait, that's the name of the fish? Trap? They ain't that big. Not big. That's a baby. They ain't that big, but we got them. I was actually scared to thumb them at the lake because I thought that they were going to be some kind of. Gee, those things got teeth. Toothy. But that's what it is right there. Man. They got teeth. So, I have never cooked one of these before. We are going to cook these today. Mm -hmm. We got to get the insides out of them and then we're going to get them on a high skillet. Let's see how it works out, y'all. All right, guys, so this is our rainbow trout. Um, they do have scales on them. A lot of people don't even worry about the scales because they're so thin and they're so small. Um, a lot of people just cook their fish, um, their trout with the scales on. I'm just gonna give it a light little grazing with the knife because just, it just don't sit right with me that we're leaving scales on the fish. This is our first time, but it just don't sit right with me that we're gonna we're gonna eat some with scales on it. Get some of that slime coat off too. Mm -hmm. So then I'm gonna wash that off. All right, now the deal with these these trout is you wanna start at the vent, you wanna run all the way up to the uh, gills, and there's actually a little connection point at the gills that you can uh, you can cut and that'll bring all of your innards out. So first we're gonna take our, our sharp knife. We're gonna start at the vent. Start at the vent. I'm running all the way up just like they told me to do. Scoot back because we got a knife in our hands, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. And once you get it started, it actually seems to be kind of easy. We're gonna get that going like that. And I probably, with this fish being so small, can take and just you know, pull that out. The next part that's real important, guys, is once you get those guts out, if you look right up against the spine, um, you'll see that black line. Let's make sure they can see that black line. What does that look like to you, Boo? Looks like... Just a black line, or can you think of something that it might tape. be like? Like tape? It kind of do the like black tape. So we got to make sure that black tape is out of there. So. What you do is you take your thumb and it's really soft and you just run your thumb up that black line. I want to make sure I stay in my comfort zone with this thing because I do not eat trout, don't know nothing about trout, so we're going to learn it all today. So I've cleaned them uh, the way that I've been shown to clean them, which is basically just get the guts out, be head, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to take it a step further because I'm noticing uh, that these trout are pretty similar to a crappie and if y'all are if y'all are uh not new to the channel y'all know i know how to clean a crappie so what i'm gonna do i hate i've cut the head off already what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start this and i'm actually gonna fillet this off of the backbone now i'm gonna tell y'all um what i don't normally do is cut towards my hand but i'm gonna do it today and what i'm doing is i'm following that spine and we'll Get this fish cut. All right. So 
That is a filet minus the rib cages, just like if it was a crappie. Um, and the reason why I'm thinking about doing that is that so it'll stay flat when I put it in the pan, when we pan fry. We're gonna go ahead and pan fry today. So I gotta turn it over and I'm gonna do the same thing on this other side. I just need to make sure I can catch the spine. And once I catch the spine, I use a flexible knife like what I got here, just a little old cheap Walmart knife. Um, and it is sharp. You don't want to use a dull knife, man. I can't tell you how many times I've told people that, but this knife is flexing. This fish is slimy and slippery, but we're getting it done. Everything I've read, y'all, says to use a little bit of flour. Thank God we had some. Um, we're, again, we're going to try this pan frying stuff. Check your flour. Make sure you ain't got no weevils in it. Shout out to the country folks that's used to the country stuff that know what weevils are. I'm gonna make sure we ain't got no issue. I'm gonna add just a little bit of flour um, to that. I'm gonna put a little salt, not much. All right, add a little bit of pepper as well. Right, right. I'm gonna give him a little bit of onion powder. Woo, boy. You get a hold of that the wrong way. That'll, that'll mess you up. Okay, and last, baby, just bought me some lemon pepper. I'm gonna put a little lemon pepper on that thing too. Just give him, give him a good little sprinkle. Okay, can't go wrong with lemon pepper, y'all. I don't care what you do. So, again, yeah, this is this is just a little mixture we coming up with. Fillets are down, so everything should be cool. Uh, we got a little bit of organic, extra virgin olive oil. Again, we're pan frying. I'm gonna add some of them to my, uh, let me turn that thing down a little bit, to my, uh, to my cast iron. And then with that, for flavor and such, we're gonna use just a little bit of butter. Not a lot, y'all, just a little bit. We're going for the semi-healthy, semi-healthy. Olive oil, healthy, butter, not so healthy. We're somewhere in the middle. We got a filet. Again, it's down. <clears throat> it's down. We're going to put him right in the grease. Hot pan, same thing. Get him right. Uh, we're gonna do skin side down first. See if we can get a really crisp skin. I can tell they're firming up, guys. And what you can do is you can just take your. Oh yeah, that skin is crisp. Couple minutes in and sizzling real good, sounding real good. I'm gonna start with that first fillet. Huh? Get them flipped over. I'm actually worried about them falling apart, kind of like a crappie fillet would do. They seem pretty tender, but so far everybody's flipping over just fine. Skin is looking crispy. Oops. And we ain't, we haven't lost nothing yet. So, so what we got right there so far, guys. Skin looking crispy. I was hoping it got a brown to it and it really didn't get brown. And that might be because I took the scales off. I ain't no telling, but as long as it tastes right, I'm good with that. Made my second flip. Starting to look like some, y'all. Starting to look like some. This thing is looking good. We flipped it twice. It's looking nice. Now these trout are about to pay the price. So guys, check this out. 
I'm tired, man. Like, golly, I'm tired. But this, I hope y'all can see that. Can y'all see it? Turn your smell of vision. That's man. the angels right there. That's the angels? Yeah. Okay. So this is the final product. This one right here loves lemon on fish. And I know she's going to give me an honest I, opinion. I, I will do that. No, you ain't going to be messing with the knife. So she loves having lemon on stuff. I'm going to make sure she has some lemon. Now, before we eat, we have to give thanks. Can you say the grace for me, please? God bless the food. Um, God bless it to be nice and healthy for us. God bless um, all the people. Um, who has Corona and not get it in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for this food. All right, Cammy. So, this fish has bones in it, guys. They're really little bones, and as they cooked, they actually got really brittle. So, I don't think they're going to be an issue, but we want to be really careful because we've never eaten this. The cool thing is, so the skin, can y'all hear that? The skin did crisp up on one side. Remember we kept the skin on? Oh. Right. And then, ooh, look at the meat. So the skin is crispy. Not like a potato chip or anything, but it definitely is crispy. Okay, and can we please stop being like Coyote Pearson and just be... Well, I gotta finish telling them. So look, it, do, it does look good, y'all. It's white it's flaky dinner. meat. Dinner. Okay. Squeeze it. Here, eat that part. I feel good that you won't run into any bones. So you can squeeze your lemon. Actually, first bite without the lemon. That way you can really taste it and see what you got. And I need true, honest opinions. Girl! No, don't do nothing else crazy. You trying to be like your daddy. So tell the truth. No, I honestly, Cammy, is it good? What's up? <laughs> Something wrong with you. So it is good? It is really good? Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's good. That's good. Without lemon, you like it without lemon. So you would eat that again? Okay, wait, wait, wait. My baby's hold on, hold on. Let me check another piece. Don't cleanse your palate, okay? Stop. I'm gonna take the skin off. I don't know what I'm taking, cause I wanna make sure you don't run into any bones. That's why I filleted it. It was a lot less bones. Okay. So go ahead and add your lemon. Okay. Calm down. Calm it down. It smells really good, y'all. I, I must admit. Okay, you don't have to go crazy with the lemon. Just a little bit. No, a little bit. Okay, let me let me see what you got with the lemon. Make sure you chew it, and if you feel anything hard, spit it out, okay? Crispy. Crispy? Yeah. Okay. Can you describe, what other words can you use to describe what you're tasting right now? I feel like I'm in paradise. Paradise. Okay. All right. So, silly girl, I'm going to go ahead and keep eating off the same piece. Uh, man, it turned out really nice, man. Again, white flaky meat, crispy. Um, I got a little bit of skin on this. Let's see what we got. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Man. <laughs> I don't know if it's because the fish is good or your daddy really know how to cook. That is my first time doing that. Don't go crazy now. We got to eat like we got manners. Mommy taught you better. Guys, trout is pretty good, man. I tell you what, let's try skin. Mmm. Got a crispness to the skin. I can taste a little bit of that butter flavor as well as the lemon pepper. Girl, you was going to town. Is you over? Wipe your hands. Wait, 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 wait. Wipe your hands. Mm -mm. No, see, because it's bones. Again, we got to be good because it got well. God, I'm, fin I'm not going to let my baby sit here and tear it down like that on camera. So I hope y'all enjoy, man. Hey, don't forget, every Thursday night, 8 o'clock, every Thursday night we'll be live uh, just talking about crappie fishing, mainly the outdoors. Man, I'd love for y'all to join me. 
Um, and we hang out for about an hour every Thursday night. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, man. We got a lot more things coming down the pipeline. More Catching Cooks. If you're liking Catching Cooks, in the comment section, put CCC, standing for Catch, Clean, Cook. That way I know you want to see more of this stuff, man. If you want to see more Fish and Cammy, you can put Fish and Cammy in the comment section as well. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed it. This your boy, Fish and Ken, Hook City TV, with my princess. Fish and Cammy. He honk. Wait, that's not me. That's not me. He honk. There's the he honk. We'll catch y'all next time.